hey hi hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is shannon how are you doing nice to meet you i hope you're doing so very well today i will be opening the abominable book box horror book club box god that was the wrong way to say that today i will be opening the abominable horror book box that seems more more legit okay if you're interested to see what's in this box please stay tuned They really are just like a kind of luck of the draw. Um, sometimes you get something you expect, sometimes you don't. You also get second hand book. It's so interesting because everyone gets a different one. Like I just really enjoy this box. Also, they just done new packaging, which looks really cool. First looks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see any of this. What do we have? Ooh, so. We have mini popcorn, oh, maple bacon flavour popcorn. Are you seeing this? Do you see this? Oh my God, I'm eating these. I know I'm gonna love these. Sorry for the crinkling. Mmm, they kind of smell like bacon. They smell like bacon syrup on pancakes. Oh no. Mm. These are good for you. I mean, they're vegan, gluten free. They have less than 121 calories in a pack. They're whole grain, non GMO, made in the UK, all natural. I'm going to need to buy a couple of bags of these. Oh my goodness. Mm. It tastes like maple bacon. It literally tastes like when you have bacon on pancakes with maple syrup, this is, this is it in popcorn form. These are fabulous. Please buy these and try these. I will be eating this whole bag and searching where I can get more of these because these are fabulous. Mm. Um, we also have the mini pop ones these are the same brand but these ones are sea salt popcorn again vegan low calorie whole grain all natural oh kind of on your tummy I mean, it's sea salt popcorn. It's nice. It's quite strongly salted, which is interesting, considering like it's good for you and salt isn't necessarily good for you. Mm, they're all right. I would eat them if they were there. But I'm not a huge salted popcorn gal. This is more my jam. So I'm going to give these to my mother. I said that really weird. I'm going to give these to my mum. And I am going to keep the maple bacon ones. Because they're the nicest ones. Next. This is where their drinks of the month come in. They normally put a couple of drinks in every box. I'm really sorry for all the crinkly noises that you're going to be hearing. Um, there's a lot of crinkles in this box. I'm just dropping things everywhere. I think they tend to put the same thing in every month, apart from they maybe change some of the flavours. So we have off-peak green tea. We have off tea black, off peak, no. Oh, they're not off peak, off, off black. Uh -uh. So we have off black generation tea in green tea and in black tea. 
I have tried the green tea of this from my last box and I did enjoy it. It was it was quite enjoyable. And then you get a Galaxy Hot Chocolate. A cappuccino unsweetened, which I always give to my mum because I am a latte girl, so no cappuccinos for me. And a coffee bag, which I still haven't tried yet. And this is like my third box. Next we have, I see a pin badge. Oh, it's like a melted ice cream, but a monster. How cute is this? I hope you can see it. <laughs> I wonder what this is from, or if it's just a melted ice cream monster. I don't know, but that's going straight on my pin badge. <laughs> banner it's i got it from fairy loot so i put all my pin badges on it now and it's kind of cute next we have the first book which is the paul bearers club by paul tremley now <laughs> i've actually already read this on net galley i got approved for an arc and i enjoyed it well enough i gave it 3.5 stars it was fine the only issue I feel is I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed where it was going, what it was doing. It was just that the format that I got from NetGalley was a little confusing. It wasn't formatted in a way that was enjoyable to read. So in this, it's kind of told in script. So the main character has written a novel about his life and then his friend has went in, read this novel and wrote like footnotes in the margins of things. And this didn't come across as well in the NetGalley arc I received. So I am totally up for rereading this and seeing if I have a better experience with the format it was intended to be read in. So I'm just going to read you the synopsis here. This says... 1988, Art Barbara is a painfully awkward teenager, underweight, acne-ridden and bent crooked by scoliosis. Worse, he has no extra credits to get him into college. So Art starts the Paul Bearers Club, mourning for people with no one else to bury them, which introduces him to Mercy Brown. Mercy is into bands, local history and taking photos of the dead. Decades later, Art writes his memoir to try and make sense of it all, because nothing about Mercy is simple. Their friendship twists and coils captured in polaroid snapshots and sweaty gigs and inexplicable flashes of the parasite lurking in a folded jacket at night. Because Art is writing, but Mercy is reading, and she thinks Art's novel, This Isn't a Memoir, needs some work. And she's more than happy to set the record straight. What if Art didn't get everything right? Come on Art, you can't tell just one side of the story. This was good and I did enjoy it, but I feel I would enjoy it more in the format it was meant to be read in over the format I read it in on the NetGalley art. This is a pretty brand new release as well, so I'm really happy that we got a new release in this book box. So yeah, the Paul Bader's Club. Then we have the second hand book, which is one of my favourite parts. Oh, all this stuff is going to end up all over my floor. This is my favourite part of the box so I'm going to leave this to last because we also have, oh, oh, okay, and I will take out the other stuff. Oh, this is a really cute, like, full box. Okay, I think that's everything. So, we actually have another thing in here. So this is The Gasling, book number 15, Tales of Ghosts, the Macabre and the Oh So Strange. And I feel like this is like kind of a magazine graphic novel format. They have pictures and kind of looks like this. This says, the Venus lay on a bed of purple velvet. She was naked, save for a string of chaste white pearls around her throat. The elegant curve of her neck widened out to the swell of her breasts, perfectly formed. Sometimes when the museum was cold and quiet, I could swear I saw them rise and fall as if she breathed. 
and this is from the anatomical venus story then we have on halloween night mama took me trick-or-treating when we came home daddy and malik said miss elliot was dead there was a ghost on her front porch a white sheet with something underneath that was bright from the porch light this is from Household by Laura Lee Lucas. It was almost like an optical illusion. The longer you stared at it, the more the wall itself seemed to dissolve away, losing its solidity and becoming something amorphous. Amor? Amorphous? From a long way away, Carl seemed to hear animal sounds, the manic squawking of birds, the howl of something dog-like. And that's from the playroom. So I take it this is just little tidbits and stories of ghosts and the macabre so this is interesting this is very interesting that's pretty cool and then we have the oh the abominable book box ah oh, itchy eye oh this one says sorry it's everyone it's laundry day and there's a bunch of ghosts with their sheets <laughs> and it's kind of cute and i like this then we have the actual abominable book club box bookmark that has the short story on the back which i will read to you now spookmark 11 series 4. maureen lopped another dead head from the rose bush and stood admiring the trimmed branches they were ready for next year where they would come alive with red yellow and white flowers she smiled but stopped when something caught her eye her tree the garden centerpiece had been decorated. As she walked closer, Maureen saw that they weren't decorations at all. They looked more like fruit, except they couldn't be. It was a weeping willow, and weeping willows didn't bear fruit. She took one of the objects in her hand and was surprised to find it was soft and slightly damp, a small auburn-coloured bean attached to the branch by a little stem. She spotted another close by, identical, and then higher up, a larger one, wide and deep red, like a liver. Maureen pulled hard and detached one of the smaller fruits and was splashed by a thick red spray that burst from the stem. Oh my, she shrieked, stumbling away. Maureen wiped her face and studied the soft, fleshy thing in her hand. It reminded her of something she saw once as a theatre nurse. Maureen looked at the tree again and this time noticed a new shape. It was a hand dangling from the branch, four fingers and a thumb, complete with fingernails, swaying in the light breeze. She grabbed the obscene thing, intended to tear it from the tree, but it seized her in its grip. She screamed, as another hand higher in the tree snatched her hair and lifted. In the moments that followed, she thought only of her late husband, missing for twelve years. She thought of his body tangled in roots and dirt. When she came face to face with a head dangling upside down high in the branches, she remembered planting this tree herself just over twelve years ago. Ooh! I will not be standing under any weeping willows anytime soon. <laughs> that is very creepy. And finally, oh no, not finally, we have Possessed by Horror. Oh, that's so cool. Then we have the book of the secondhand book. It's definitely a paperback. Oh, okay. I am making a right mess of this one here. Is it even the right way round? It is the right way round. Is it a good one? Let's see. Oh, Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Okay, I am happy with this. This has been on my list. Um, I obviously have not read a lot of horror. I am just finding my footing in the horror book genre. I am a huge horror nerd when it comes to films, but... I haven't really delved into horror and book format which is why I really wanted to get this box because it gives me a chance to test the waters on loads of different books and this is one that's popped up quite a lot of times. I've watched the film, I've enjoyed the film and now I have the book and it is in really good condition so I am very happy with that and this says if you've seen what's out there it's already too late. Mallory raises the children the only way she can, indoors with the doors locked, the curtains closed and mattresses nailed over the windows. 
The children sleep in the bedroom across the hall, but soon she will have to wake them and blindfold them. Today, they will risk everything. Today, they will leave the house. Joss Malerman's Bullet Box is a terrifying psychological thriller that will haunt you long after you read. Ooh, I am happy with this. I can knock this off of my wish list now. So, we have The Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. We have The Ghastling, book number 15, The Tales of Ghosts, Macabre and the Oh So Strange, and The Paul Bearers Club. So these are the books we got this month. I will put on screen, I do this every box, I will put on screen the amount this book costs, this book box costs, and then I will I will put that over here. And then I will put over here the amount that it would cost to buy these books from Amazon. It's the easiest place to price because it is international. A lot of people have access to it. I don't, I go off of the retail price for this. And well, I go off the retail price for everything on Amazon and I compare the prices. So this is just for the books, not including any of the bookmarks or the treats or the drinks or anything like that this just goes based off of the books retail price so i am really happy with this month's haul from this um box and i will leave that information on screen i'm also planning to do a reading vlog dedicated to the books i get in this subscription box so i will leave link in a comment down below the books i have received so far feel free to go down and vote on which book you would like to see in the vlog. I think I will be picking three books to put in that vlog, so feel free to vote more than once. I really appreciate your feedback, and if you're interested in my thoughts on any of these books, then it will be really nice for you to pick one so I can tell you my thoughts. But apart from that, that is all I have for you today. Remember to stay safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye. Pick it up from the top, hit restart